Well, take a look at this. Notice anything wrong here besides the blacked out numbers there. This looks like your average Florida license plate, but it actually cost a Lakeland woman a $114 ticket. ABC Action News reporter Ryan Ray shows us what every Florida driver needs to know. Victoria Harrington has always tried to obey the law, but last week... I did not know it was illegal. The Florida Highway Patrol slapped her with a $114 ticket. Not for speeding, which she admits she probably was, but... but he said no, the license plate holder was against state statute. That's right, her license plate holder. In this case, the regal Lakeland frame that's screwed in with the plate. If you look closely, the frame is covering half of the word myflorida.com, and the state says that's against the law. I don't think it really is fair. I don't understand why it's a law, but why do you need to see the Florida Com. ABC Action News found the law is rarely enforced. The sheriff's office has issued zero tickets for it this year. FHP says it's issued at the trooper's discretion. Naturally, Harrington went straight to the dealership. They couldn't believe it. The owner told me by phone that they redesigned the tag frames about 15 years ago to come in compliance so the words at the bottom of the plate could be seen. But in recent years, the state added MyFlorida.com on the top, and the law says nothing can be obscured. This is by no means an issue with one single dealership. Next time you're at the store, look in the parking lot. Most of the cars are illegal. There's a violator. There's another one and another one. For its part, Regal says it will either do another redesign or may have to do away with those popular tag frames altogether. As for that $114 ticket... I would love for Regal to take care of it. <laughs> after we got involved, Regal called their customer and informed them they were sending her a check. They plan to take this issue up with the state. In Lakeland, Ryan Raish, ABC Action News.